welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. I'm yours Jack and this is yet another video tutorial of using Photoshop Elements and this is version 9. Um, I was just sitting here playing around today and I came up with a great new feature that I wanted to share with you and you know sometimes when I find these folks I just can't wait to get it out there to you so you can actually uh, see some of the benefits that Adobe is bringing along in the new version. First, please uh, take a few minutes if you uh, enjoy this tutorial and stop by jackstechcorner.com and pick up a copy of one of my DVDs. Now these DVDs folks will work with versions 6, 7, 8 and 9 um, and there's going to be uh, more versions on their way so maybe you would want to get started here with some of this past uh, material that I've created for you on some really great um, high resolution DVDs. Also, uh, I did add something new with the new uh, Facebook like buttons. Up here at the top, I added a new uh, button you'll see at the top of the website. So maybe even just go there if you have a Facebook account and click on that like button. Uh, just to show that you actually uh, enjoy the shows and it's going to see if I can get some more feedback from you folks. It doesn't cost you anything to do that. Just click on the like button um, and that's all there is to it. So with that said, let's go ahead and move on here. Now in this particular video, we're going to talk about a new feature in Photoshop Elements 9. Now this is both on the Windows and on the Mac side. And what we're going to talk about today is under the Guided Edit, and it is called Style Match. I've been playing around with this and I thought, this is pretty cool stuff, uh, the Style Match, that I wanted to actually share it with you and show you how it actually works. Now what style match allows you to do is allows you to match the style of a picture that either, either you have taken or a picture that you maybe have found on the internet and use the colors and the contrast and whatever that picture and put that settings into your own picture. So it's pretty cool and I'm going to show you how that works. All you do here is down here in the bin, you'll see now where it says style bin. All you do is drag one of these. Let's drag this one here. And I just drag it up to where it says drag image or drag style image here. I'm going to drag it up there. And watch this picture over here on the right. You can see now that it almost picked up a black and white tint, much like the picture on the left. So it picked up the sense of the style of that picture that we had previously. I see this really great, folks. If you find a really great colored picture that looks sort of like the same type of scenery that you have maybe, and you'd like to use this uh, basic style, just pull it up there and use it. Now also when playing around, you know, I never like to go with just the default stuff. I like to say, well, I could probably add something more to what they were thinking, um, and they give you a great way to do that. So let's reset the picture. Now what we're going to do is add a style down here. We're going to add, say, one of your pictures or something you find on the internet. What I did, I like to go up here, and we're going to go to home here, go to Google. We can go to Images, and we're going to type in um, Daylight, um, something like Daylight. That should be good enough to get us something here. Uh, it gives us some sky pictures, some nice uh, clear daylight buildings here. Uh, find a style that you would like to use, something that you want your picture to look like. Uh, let's just maybe click on this one. We're going to do here, we're going to look at the large sizes. I like to work with large size pictures. Let's see if I got anything different here now. Let's grab this one here. All right, then click on full size image on the right then all you have to do is just right click and do save image as. Now I created the folder here. If I go here to pictures and I created a folder here called styles and we'll just save this as daylight just like this and save. Okay. Let's minimize our browser out of the way. Now we're going to add that picture we just downloaded into our styles bin. So I click on the little plus sign down here and this says add from my organizer so maybe you already have your picture there or add images from the hard disk. We're going to add image from the hard disk. Daylight, there it is. Open it. 
and here it is it's added to our bin so now we can pull this one up and apply this image these colors to this picture pull it up there and there you go now you see the blue coming in the sky there the ground the green kind of covering the ground now let's say you add the style but all you really wanted was the sky you wanted something different with the sky here but you wanted the ground to be pretty much what it was if you go over here on the right there's a button that says style eraser click on that open your brush size up by using your right bracket key and just simply erase over top of this and you see what's happening is what it did it actually created a basic layer mask for us and it put all this information on a mask and we're basically just painting over here like you would any other mask and we're opening that back up now let's say you make a mistake and you go um floor is down a little bit you go across this building accidentally you say oh no wait i wanted that to be the style okay go back over to where it says style painter click on that and let's go back over that and now we click and we can paint the style right back in there's softer stroke edges there's transforming tones you can see the tones are actually switched around transformed uncheck that you can do enhanced details you can see the uh, details being enhanced there even more pull that back and uh, style clarity you can actually clarify the style a little bit once you're done you're satisfied with your picture all you gotta do is click on done and that style will then be set in if you're never at any point happy with the style the way it looks just hit reset and then just grab another one and pull it up in there and there you go you'll just add the different style you can see where the grass type stuff is coming over the road here so folks that's how the new style match works and that's in the guided edit of Photoshop Elements 9. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this short video tutorial. Like I said, folks, sometimes I find things and I think it's very uh, worthwhile to share with you and to show you that the uh, Adobe is doing things with the new versions. They don't just give them new numbers, folks, and put them out there. We know they add something a little bit here and there. So I wanted to point that out there to you. Once again, uh, stop by jackstechcorner.com, especially if you have a Facebook account, click on that like button on the top. I'd like to see uh, how many people we can actually get that actually like the videos. If, if we can just get that, if I can have an idea of how many people actually like the shows. Uh, we have a ton of subscribers out there, and if you're not subscribed, please do so to my YouTube videos. We have over 4,000 now, and hopefully by the end of the year, we can have at over 5,000. So I'm pushing. I have a goal. I'd like to see that happen. So until next time, as always, keep those shutters clicking, keep the editors editing. And I'll see you back here very soon on Jack's Tech Corner. Bye for now.